Hi everyone, Michael Davids from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup. Now today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a really easy hair up style. Let's say if you're going for a job interview or if you're a flight attendant, we're going to be teaching you how to do a donut button. Okay, um, this is going to be the first tutorial of easy hairstyles that, um, that we're going to be teaching you, so you look forward to many, many, many more. Now, these styles are going to be really easy to do. Um, once you master it, you'll be able to do it in probably under five minutes. So if you're waking up at 3.30 in the morning to fly to Sydney and back, you'll be able to whack your hair up like that, and then we'll teach you how to do your makeup as well very soon. So, for today, you're going to need one of these little squishy bun things. Um, if you don't have one of these, we're going to teach you how to make one in another tutorial, but this is one from a $2 shop. They're really cheap, really easy to get. You're also going to need two elastic um, hair lackeys, um, some hairspray, a teasing comb, a paddle brush or a spanking brush, and if you're going for more of a upper class airline, let's say the Emirates style or maybe Qantas even, some shine spray to finish it off. But if you're going for a lesser airline, don't worry about that. Let's get started. Start by brushing your hair out nice and smooth. Using your index finger or a towel comb, section from the top of your head to the front of your ear on either side and then clip them out of the way. This leaves you with the back section of your hair. Grab all the hair in your hands and using a brush, smooth it all into a semi-high ponytail. Make sure it's nice and smooth because this is going to be the foundation for your donut bun. Give the ponytail a spritz of hairspray to stop any of the hairs coming loose and tie up with a hair lackey. Slip your donut bun over your wrist, grab the ponytail and pull through. Grab your teasing brush or tail comb, section out the hair and tease the individual pieces. Separate them out with your fingers and then brush smooth with the teasing brush. It should soon start to look like a volcano vomiting hair and grab your second hair lackey and squeeze it over the top of the hair and the donut. Now we're getting somewhere. Spritz it with a little bit of hairspray, smooth it over with your hands and grab the remaining hair with a brush and bring it to the back and hold it out of the way with a section clip. Grab the left hand side on the front section, brush it through and wrap it around the back of your head and up into the base of the bun. Secure it with a pin. Unclip the other side, brush it through and wrap it around the bun in the opposite direction. And don't forget to secure it with a pin. This is how it should look now. To finish off, grab the back section, split it in half and cross the two pieces over each other, wrap around the base of the bun, and secure them both with a pin. Make sure you finish off the entire hairstyle with hairspray. There you go, this is our flight attendant job interview bun donut hairstyle. Wasn't that easy? You can do that in under five minutes and before anyone says, yes, but you were working on the back and I've got to do this. Seriously, if you can't put your hair in a ponytail using your own hands and slip a bun over the top of the ponytail, you shouldn't have hair. Okay, but seriously, um, this is a really basic hairstyle to do. You don't have to place the donut bun here. You can place it on top, centre back, or you could do a low bun. And you don't have to section out the front bits either. You could just put your entire head of hair into a ponytail. It is really, really simple. Now, thank you very much for watching that tutorial and please subscribe to us on our channel because you'll get to see heaps more little bits and pieces and things to learn and also, um, Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Michael from Buffont Delacroix. Everything is down below in the little text bar. We'll see you next time.